so hello student so this video we are going to see another one perspective problem perspective projection problem so here it is on one of the typical one in those case how we are going to proceed it so this is a pentagonal pyramid the pentagon mean it has five sides at the base since this is a pyramid there will be an apex a side of base 30 mm and height 60 mm it's clearly given it is resting on the gp ground plane it is resting and on its base with an edge is in pp that is very important it is touching the picture plane the station point value is 65 mm in front and 80 mm above so it is clearly given and lying on the center plane so this is very important one line and lying on the center plane passing through the apex where it is it is on the axis itself the center plane which is lying on the axis itself draw the perspective view of the pyramid in visual ray method so this is the question so here it is clearly given the distance between the station points uh, pp and the gp it is 65 mm in front and 80 mm above so 65 plus 80 so where the value is 145 plus 5 we can add so totally it will be 150 mm so for 150 mm we need to take it so for this case how we are going to solve it so first we need to take the uh, between 150 mm between so we can take the pp and gp here so here uh, this is given as 30 mm side and now we can draw the pentagon here now so we can draw it like this this is a solid and next we can project everything here downwards so and uh, then here the center plane is located on here the station point will be at these points so here we can draw like this we can project it everything now here on this area if we are going to do it so this will not be a correct one so look at here these all the lines these all the points we can do it except this o and this d or n point so we cannot concern for this case how we are going to proceed it is the distance between the station point and the picture plane that is how much it is in front the same value has to be taken in this side that will be the alternate picture plane here so this has to be drawn the same solid has to be drawn projected in this way like this it has to project it in this way the solid will be like this now now from here we are going to project it so on those case here where it meets the picture plane on here we are going to draw the horizontal line and we are going to find out the rest of the points so this is a way how we are going to proceed it so this is one of the method uh, how where we are going to take this method it is whenever the center plane is lying on the axis of the solid whenever the center plane is lying on the axis we have to go for this method we have to take this method that is the only procedure so we can solve the problem now so before that we need to free up our spaces so free up our spaces so here i have taken uh, 150 mm so let me take so this area this area we can take it so for uh, uh, for this distance i'm just drawing the center plane So this is picture plane and this is ground plane and by here I am just marking the pentagon, pentagon is 30 mm, so 30 mm is not enough here, so I will take it for 25 mm here now, I will take it for 25 mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 will be at here. So, 4 axis, 4, right, so I am just drawing all the points, some of the points will not be shown here, finally I will take the
so this is the access point so I have just drawn the diagram like this just drawn the diagram so this is a way so here I am going to give the name this is A, B, C, D and E and this is O. I just fix a line like this way. Now I am going to draw the points. Now on the apex line itself, it is lying vertically. The center plane is lying here. So from here it is 65 mm, 65 mm, 6, 6, 5, this is S dash and here it is 80 mm, so this is S. So there are two things, we just marked it and now I am going to join this A to this S by a thin line and to this B, to S here a thin line, then C Again, O and D will be lying on the same center line. So now I am coming to here. So this is the way. So these are the points. A and B already lying here. So C dash will be here. And this is E dash will be here. And O1 and D1 both are lying in the same point. So this is a method. Now I already told this is 65 mm. For the same 65 mm, I am just taking the same measurement here. Same 65 mm. I am just taking it this side. I am going to draw a line. Line like this. Now, by here also, just extending it. So now by here, I am just proceeding and just projecting all those lines. Just see, first from O I am just projecting and from C and E I am projecting, then from D I am projecting. So then from D I am projecting like this. So this is a way of doing it. Next, this line also I am just extending it. So we need the diagram here now. Now, by taking your compass, by taking your compass, I am just measuring this length. Look at here. I am just measuring this length here now. Now I am marking an arc. Likewise, for all the three length, I'm just making an arc like this. So you can clearly see, I am just making the arc like this, keeping this point as the center. And these distances as a radius, I just made an arc like this. Now, by here, I am just drawing the parallel lines. This has to be extended. Now, I am just drawing the parallel lines. So this is a way of doing it. Now, what is the solid height? The solid height is, here the solid height is given as um, 60 mm. The solid height is given as 60, 60. So where the O is, this is the O, this is the O point. So here the apex point will be there. This is the O point and here while seeing from this side, while seeing from this side, while seeing from this side, I can able to see this B and C, B here and C here and D here. So where the D is, this is D1. I can mark it. Uh, we can mark the D1 dash. This is C1 dash and with the behind the E1 dash will be available. And here initially I can able to see this B and behind the A1 dash is available. B1 dash and A1 dash, both these are the lines will be available now. Now I am just going to draw 
connect the, with this all the points with this yes. Just going to connect all the points with this yes. Now to here also I am just going to connect it. Next. For this wall also I just connected. So here are the crossing points. So this we need to mark it. These are the crossing points. So this is O and this is B and this is C and E. This is A and B. A and B is al already in the ground. A and B is here you can see the A and B is already in the ground. So here we have marked A, B, C, E, D. So A and B is already in the ground. So there is no need of worrying. So here these lines will be crossing at these points. So you have to be very clear. Now I am going to draw the horizontal line. So before that, where the A will be crossing here, we need to find it. This is the A point will be crossing. So I just drawn a vertical line. So this point will be called as A. So, so here this A and A will be coincides. Now for B I am just drawing the vertical line, projection line. So this is B it crossed. Then for C, this is C point and for D, for E, this is E point. Where the C and E is here, this is the line. I just drawn the horizontal line from all the crossing points from this O also. For this O also I just crossed. So here this point will be O and this point will be D. This is O and D we just crossed and this point will be C and this point will be E. So these are the points. Now we can join it. all the outer edges we can generally join that. Just join these lines. Okay, next. This also can be joined. Now, while seeing from this side, we are able to see this OA and OB also. And this edge we are not able to see. So, this is the hidden edge. So, now this is the solid. So, this is a way of doing the problem. Now, here the, we need to make the dimensions. So, the dimension thing is this is 60 mm, and here this is 80 mm, and here 65 mm, and here the side is here we can mark it. So, this is the way. Here we can mark this. Thirty mm. So like that we can do it. So this is the way of proceeding the problem. Thank you.